Hello Minecrafters, and today I want to show you the Kingdoms of Amalar mod, based on the awesome game. It's it's pretty cool, nice. And this mod is, like, as well as awesome as large. I mean, look how many chests there are. So anyway, I'm gonna, let's get down to it. And there's, first of all, you gotta know the materials, of course, before you actually learn awesomeness. So first of all, you need the l one piece of leather and put it straight in the center, and you get four leather grips just from one. Which is a pretty nice deal, I think, but... Okay, it's pretty nice. I have nothing against it. And for next, you need the iron rod for the hammers, which are amazing. You'll see in the future. And by future, I mean a few more minutes. And that's 30 iron and gets stacked, like, in this pattern here. Then there's the hilt, which is, like, 30 iron ingots down the middle, straight down the middle with this slot open. And there's two leather grips on either side. And I'm... I don't really get this at first, and neither did the mod creator, and he said that he might be changing in the future, which is nice, which is really nice. So anyway, there's some another for raw steel. You need uh, one iron ingot in this row column at the bottom, and one coal right beside, and this slot is totally empty. And also, uh, to see this raw steel, because there's more j ores in this mod, such as the prismere, which is the best, Silvanite, which is next best, then there's Azurite. And I noticed that they even did our RPG style. Purple is ultra rare or legendary. Uh, yellow is rare. And uh, white is common, pretty much. According to the mod creator, he says this is as rare as lapis, this is as rare as gold, and this is way more rare than diamond. But anyway, there's a steel incorporated in this mod, and I better get something to burn. So I'll go search. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot to show you. There's now like a completely new section inside their creative inventory. And anyway, I'm going to get some coal, and I'll show you that. Well, you can smelt this raw steel, and we'll be waiting for a second while I show you some more materials. So anyway, using these four new ingots, you can, well, ores, and you can craft blades, but remember to leave these slots completely empty on the crafting bench. Two of these for every single one creates one blade. So anyway, um, there's, uh, for even iron is incorporated in this, and I better check on it, and you see, you get a steel, which is right here. So now, you could get, uh, there's some gems in this mod too, but I'll show you this later. For now, let's show you this awesome things, like the long swords here. So they're sort of like regular blades, and this is how they they go. It's one hilt at the very bottom, and two blades stacked straight on top of them. And it's sort of like a regular blade, except that instead of using the oars here, and instead of using one stick. And there's one for each one, the steel longsword, iron longsword, and oh, crap. I am so sorry, guys. I did the iron longsword twice, and I was like, what? Okay, but that's not the point here. This is also daggers, which is amazing, because I like being like the Rogue style in RPGs. I'm not sure if they, I, I think they let you attack faster, but I'm not, can't be certain. But anyway, leave these the f uh, slots uh, completely empty here, and that will get you a dagger for all, and then one blade on top. It's sort of like the a long sword, but instead of two blades, it's only one. And pretty much the same complete concept as the last one. So then there's the staffs, and they're pretty cool, in my opinion. And I'll show you how they attack later. Um, and there, it's pretty much like two of the ores there, there are two sticks down, and one silvanite blade, or whatever blade you're, for the thing you're using. And there's only three of these kind of staffs that I know how to craft using this mod. Sorry, I had to burp. Sorry. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much the staffs. They're pretty cool. And then there's the hammers, which are amazing in my opinion. The, the iron rods from before are used, incorporated in this, inside this, and you need three of the ores straight on top to get you one. Also, and also there's three uh, iron ingots, because ingots uh, are incorporated. And then there's the great swords. And it's this, there's this, uh, the great swords are just the long sword version equipped with another blade straight on top. Which I don't really get because it shouldn't be longer, it shouldn't be wider. So, there's, I, in my opinion, it should go like this, but that's my opinion. The mod creator is pretty good. So anyway, it's incorporated for uh, all of them, iron, azurite, and all of them, as well as the pris prismere. And also, I'm not sure, there's the fey blades, which are here. The fey blades look pretty nice. And I, you could use them, but I'm not sure, like, 
about the crafting recipe. So I'm not sure. This is a new mod, and it's only in the beta version. So it's really incredible for such a mod that is just so early out. So and he's incorporating more stuff like more armor, mobs, and more structures. But now, about uh, enough about the Fey blades because I'm not. We don't know how to make these. So anyway, I better show you how like how the weapons attack. I'll be back in a second, guys. Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, it's now I'm going to show you how to attack in the forms of creepers. So anyway, I'll do the pretty much the long sword, which pretty much attacks like a reg any regular sword, except it's much powerful. So also the fact that this uh, prismier, just saying. This is, uh, the prismier is really powerful, indeed. The great sword is just pretty much the powered up version of it, so I don't really have to show you. The hammer is pretty incredible, though. I'll spawn another creeper. This could, like, kill really fast and it also like gives you has a slam special ability and uh, when, uh, see when you attack the creeper it will get a special effect I'll show you again and it gets a, uh, as you see like it gets a special effect also the fact that like you also like a creeper has sort of like the ability if you use your use button but for me it's a right click if you use that button then it'll explode like a creeper it's really awesome I think it's the slam special ability he incorporated and also the Fey Blade is pretty cool. It's sort of like the dagger. It's sort of like the dagger. And so I'm going to spawn the, a, another creeper now. And I'm going to sort of start attacking it. It's also real and also way faster as you see. But it's also also um weaker than the others. So now I'm going to spawn another creeper now. And attack with the daggers. And also as you see it attacks incredibly fast. Sort of like the Fey Blade. But... Uh, it's uh, imp I think it's even more faster, but I also the fact that it's also way more weaker. Now the staffs, all the staffs are sort of like bows. You have to hold the use button for a while, and uh, if you uh, you just tap it, nothing will happen. You have to hold it up and then release. And so, which is sort of disappointing, but it's still really cool, especially with the prismir, which I'll show you later. Both the silver knight, uh, first this one shoots snowballs, which is. All it does is push, as you know, most of you know. This shoots fireballs, which is amazing. Instead, also, I'll attack the creeper over there. Oh, you dodge it! Oh, snap, that is amazing. It's not too powerful, but it's still amazing. And they could also attack, which is why the blade is incorporated in the recipe. But the prismier staff is amazing. I'll show you now. And the creeper, which will probably... See, it literally summons lightning down. I rain HELL to all you mobs! See, I'm just summoning all this lightning. It's really... And just for amusement... I, sorry, guys. Just for amusement, I'm gonna start summoning these mo all these creepers. Just for, like, fun. Okay, now, all you rain hell. It is also amazing, the animation. See uh, how they're just, like, being... Looks like they're getting absorbed and stuff. More raining hell. But anyway, I'm done with this fun, and I'll be seeing you guys back in a while for some more of actual reviews. So anyway, guys, there's also these things called gems. I'm not sure what they really do, because this, is, as you know, it's still a beta mod. And also the fact that maybe maybe they do have effects, but the mod creator didn't say so, if there are. But anyway, there's a cloudy physical gems and these magical gems. And these are all gems. So as you know, I don't know what they do, but here are destiny cards. As you uh, Also, the, there's uh, three types. The might version, which are the red, the finesse. Which, this is like the warrior type, this is like the assassin or rogue type, and this is like the mage type, which is like for blue. And I think they give you effects when you hold them, I'm not sure, but, I'm not sure, but, uh, I, I th I'm not even sure if they have abilities, but I, all I know is they exist. So anyway, I'll just put this back, and there's our mob eggs, there are a lot of mobs for such a new mod. So anyway, I'll just keep this, have to take these out, and I'll show you them. Okay, guys, um, and I gotta get out sword, because they're actually, some of them are really powerful. Some of them are hostile. So, anyway, I'll be seeing you guys in a while, okay? So, anyway, guys, I'm back, and I brought a Prismir longsword, just because I need to, some of these mobs are incredibly powerful. So, just to be on safe, so, first I'm gonna summon Tuatha. According to the mod creator, he has 100 HP. Well, or heart, whatever you want to call them. And he does two uh, damage each. Well, and by damage, I mean heart, which is a lot. So, also, it says that he drops a Prismere crystal. And he's incredibly powerful. And he only attacks if you're well armored. 
So anyway, this is Tuatha, and I'm just gonna kill him now. And he, had, I like I said, he had a hundred health, but but with a Prismir longsword, it will only take like five hits, I think, which is still a lot for her because this Prismir longsword is powerful. Now I'm gonna summon the Bogar, and he isn't hostile. And usually he, uh, well, I think he's hostile, but I'm not sure. But he only spawns in packs, and uh, he does one heart of damage, and there's healing has 10 HP. And this is a bogger, and I was like, oh, looks so cuddly. And it's faster than most things, in my opinion. Die! And he, it says uh, he usually drops wooden planks or leaves, and maybe golden apples if you're really lucky. And it turns out I'm not really lucky. I got freaking wooden planks. Then there's the Red Legion Bandit, or just Bandit for short. Um, from the actual game, and they do 1.5 hearts of damage, drops an iron sword, and there's no really special info, according to, like, the mod creator, and he just looks like Steve. I already tested this mod out a bit. I'm just gonna kill you! Two hits, and he doesn't really drop it at much things. It then turns out, like, oh yeah, he dropped an iron ingot for me. Nice. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. Tuatha, Tuatha, yeah, for dropping a prismir crystal. Okay, now I'm gonna summon Etten, and I think he's like the strongest person. He has 200 HP, three hearts of damage, and he has incredibly powerful um, like attacking skills. And it says like, you know, aw, this is an awesome like texture. But anyway, it says like he uh, gives you HP when killed, and like I said, 200 HP is like a lot. So even with this Prismir Greatsword, it will take a while. And by a ton of HP, it turns out, I, I actually, that's a pretty good amount of leveling. That's ten, like five levels. It's not as much as the Ender Dragon, unfortunately. There's, there's sprites, which, um, the sprites, which do two hearts of damage and drops, like, uh, like, um, they do one heart of damage. Uh, I, I accidentally said two hearts, I don't know why, and they say they shoot fireballs. And it, it doesn't look as nice as some of the others, but I'll still kill him. They can fly. Why did he inform me of this? The mod creator. I'm kidding. He might. He actually did. The giant spider just sort of looks like the cave spider, but in large version. And he does two hearts of damage and drops what a regular spider would drop. And he can poison you. And usually spawns in packs of twos. And as the with only ten health, I uh, ten health. This awesome blade can like kill him in one freaking shot. Now we're just gonna summon the son of Laz. Which is a zombie. And he'll drop human flesh, I think. I killed him one hit. He doesn't have much health. I just think 10 HP or hearts, whatever you want to call it. I like calling it hearts because it's proper Minecraft. I'm not sure about the brownie, but he, because he didn't really put much info, but I've seen the brownie before because I summoned him pre handedly. And he's pretty fast. And it seems like he only didn't really drop anything. Yeah, the he dropped the spider drop poison sack a string and uh the son of last dropped human flesh. So anyway guys, just more part of the mod because like I said, this mod is really good in large. So anyway, I'm now back. And now I'm gonna show you the another one more of the last crafting recipe, which is the portal to the kingdom of Amalar. Which is just another star surrounded by a moss stone in the crafting bench. So now uh all you do is this. You place it down place it down and then you run straight into it and now I guess I'll wait so now it seems that I like in this weird place and you can only move after you break this block so I'm just gonna surface because always uh, for me I spawn underground and see now they're actually like mobs like mobs of um of from the eggs actually do spawn randomly and also it seems in closer spawn point it seems there's another slab to go back and th uh, when you go back, you I spawn underground right underneath the portal, it seems. And for I I've noticed this, but for some reason, a nether portal appears right after you use this. I found this out for my own self. He never said anything about it. And I'm like, why didn't you say anything about this? But anyway, guys. Huh, so anyway, guys, I'm now gonna show you how to download this mod. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, you cannot enchant any of the weapons, which is like sort of a bummer in my opinion. I just tested it out right after, and you cannot actually enchant it, which is a bummer, because I would like totally want to make these weapons way more powerful. So anyway, now for the actual like, the, for how to download this mod. So anyway guys, now I'm going to show you how to download this mod. Ignore all this stuff, that's my other like, 
Minecraft stuff. Instead, focus on these two items. So first of all, you uh, the most important thing you would want to like close your Minecraft. And if you have any other mods, you might not know if this mod is compatible with those mods. So click options, then click force update, and then click done. Then click login, and it will renew all your mods. And then from now on, you have no mods and nothing installed into your Minecraft. It will be plain Minecraft. See? It's just plain Minecraft 1.4.7. So anyway, click the start button for a Windows user because I'm a Windows user. And then type in percent app data. Percent app data right here, okay? So type that in, then click enter, and it'll bring you to your roaming folder here. So anyway, click on the dot Minecraft folder and remember to double click because it will not work if you don't double click. Now click go to the bin folder, which should be at the top of your dot Minecraft folder. Then you click double click on that, and then you uh, right click this, and then you click on open with Wins RAR Archiver or 7-Zip. It would usually only work with those two. So anyway, open it up, and then cl you can pretty much close this because you will not need this. So anyway, I will show you how to download install the Minecraft Forge because Minecraft Forge is required, and I prefer Minecraft Forge over my mod loader. So anyway, open Minecraft Forge 1.4.7. I will have a link in the description of this video. Then highlight everything and copy this straight to your regular Minecraft folder, which is at the side. Now you can just close this folder and remember to keep Meta INF because for um they uh, they usually you should delete Meta INF but on mod loader, but for Minecraft Forge you do not need to delete it. So anyway, now activate your your uh, Kingdoms of Amalar mod, which I will also put in the link in the description below, and open it. So now all you have is this, and then you have to t t uh, copy everything, and then and then put it straight to this file, and then you'll have everything, and that's all you need. That's how you install this mod. So anyway, goodbye, and hope this helped.